What's up guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today in this video as you saw by the title I am going to be showing you what user there is on your computer and I'm also going to be showing you how to change your date, time and your time zone like what, how, where, like for example you can change it to Sydney's time zone so like it will be two hours ahead of wherever you are or something or like 10 hours ahead I don't know but yeah so what so where you want to I'm, I'm gonna start off with checking to see where what user is on your computer and I know what user is on my on my computer because there's there's two ways of checking it there's one way which is you have to type a little command and the second way is just a pretty easy way anyone can do it it doesn't take it doesn't even take five seconds so all you have to do is press the win this windows key and then you go in here and it says Arian. so the user of this computer is Arian. so yeah and then you can sign out lock um, change account settings sign out and, and to if you sign out then it'll sign out of the account but you can just log back in but I'm not going to do that because this is, that's not the video for today. But that is the fastest way to do it. I'm going to show you a. I'm going to show you another way, but it's just it, it's a bit different. So you want to type in in. So you want to go into the this area near the task. So this is the task bar, right, right here. You want to go into like this search bar area, and then you want to hit hit it and you want to um, search up cmd or you can just search up command oh my god command and then prompt my prompt yeah there it is there it is. came up so you can either search i i'd say you guys searching up cmd you, you can even you can just write cm and it'll come up but cmd is short for command prompt or just command itself and yeah so you have to search up cmd or whatever and then you, you'll come up with command prompt you want to hit that and then when once you're in here uh, it would say uh c uses arian that's also a way to check it it will say the user is arian here as you can see or if you're somehow can't see that just write the command who am with no spaces and then i and no capitals and then just press enter and it'll say laptop arian and the user is arian right there as you can see so it will come up as well did a bomb explode on this i'm pretty sure a bomb exploded <laughs> Oh my god, it went white for a second or two. Jeez. Oh, yeah, I'm selecting it. That's fine. And so, yeah, that's how you check it. So, that's how you check what user is on your computer. It's pretty easy. You can either check it by here and going into here, or you write, and, or you can open up command prompt and you write this line or just check it here. Right there. Okay, so that is that how to check your using your uh, the, the user account on your computer uh, and okay so now I'm gonna be showing you how to change your date your time and everything like that so you want to search up no sorry yeah you want to search up in this little area control panel right It'll come up here so you want to click it and then I want you Let's see if we can find it here. Uh, no, I'm not bothered. Uh, so you want to search up date. Oh my god. Date and time. Bro, hello. My keyboard not working? Okay, there we go. Date and time. You'll see. I'm just right. And time. Alright, there we go. So date and time is right there. So you just want to search up date and time. And it'll come up right here as 
it says date and time so you want to click on that okay so what you want to do oh my god what you want to do is select date and time okay and then it will say the date is you, you can see what time it is like the exact time in seconds as well like see the seconds are also going on like but instead of here at the bottom here it just shows the minutes and the hour here it actually shows the uh the seconds as well so it's really helpful this one so you can time yourself on things you can just open this up and you can time yourself all the way to for example like six o'clock and see how long it took you to like do stuff it's actually really helpful this thing and if you want to change the date and time so if you want to change the date for example for example I don't know the world exploded and the date is on the and it says 29th the computer all the computers in the world broke and it says 29 for you but meanwhile it's like the 2nd of October you want to go to change date and time and then I don't know if we can well okay okay and uh, well, oh yeah we can so you can press 2nd of October <laughs> imagine and then you can press um, OK and then you'll see 2nd of October um, oh I know it's November why is it November oh my god jeez man come on oh I selected the wrong one okay here wait there okay now it's the 2nd of October and you can also highlight over it and it'll say Friday 2nd of October it's not actual Friday but the day that's gonna happen will be on a Friday so yeah but I'm not gonna do that because it's not the 2nd of October and the world didn't explode as well so I'm not gonna do that so I'm just gonna just put it back to the 29th of September and yeah and then you, you can just press OK and it will go away and then it's saved right now as you can see okay, we will do that again so wait this time if you're going to change date and time you can make the time higher by one minute or one hour or you can select this and go Wee. I'm not gonna do it. oh no this is actually gonna be bad actually or if you if you get too confused and you don't know what the time is and you do something random you can just press cancel and everything's fine for you <laughs> luckily so if you want to change the time for example sometimes the you know how the times go up one hour for every region yeah you want to change the time up one hour you just press this and then you go bam skills right there oh my gosh but that's what you call skills and i'm going to put it down to five o'clock again but yeah that's how you can change it so your computer says it, it would have said six o'clock if I showed you, but yeah, it would it, it would say like another time, and that's how you can change the thing to a different time. Okay, so for example, you want to so you went to another country, right? And it still says you're in Australia or something, right? Like you're in Sydney or something. What you what you want to do to fix like if you if you're um if you're trying to for example you want to see that what the time is and you don't have a phone or anything to check the time your, uh, your phone's not on you it's it's around, ran out of batteries and you want to check on your computer you have to check on your computer and you don't know how to do it because it's gonna say like 3 a.m in the morning in australia and i don't think you would be awake at that time because that is a sleeping time right so it's gonna say the wrong time and that's not gonna be good so that's why they've put in a change time zone area which is basically saying you can change your time zone to whatever you want and i'm gonna tell you i'm not gonna do it because i'm gonna get lost in this look how many of time zones there are oh my gosh wait let me try find perth even though i've selected it before Oh no, screw it, I can't do that. Oh, that, that, no. Where is it all? Oh, it's actually hard to find yours. 
it's not even in alphabetical order because you can see A with like near the F and that you, and there's an A right here and there's an A right here. Like it's not in alphabetical order, which which is horrible because oh my god, it's way too hard to find yours. But you just gotta look. You just gotta keep looking and looking and looking till you find. I'm gonna try to find it one sec. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. I know. I can find this. This is easy. Come on. Yeah, this is so. Oh, oh yes, I found it. Oh my god, I actually found it. Oh, that took forever. <laughs> yeah. So you can, for example, you wanna change it to this place, whatever this says. AP, whatever, or you want to change it to Darwin or Adelaide, you can press that. I'm just gonna press it, and it'll, it should be it should be 706 for them right now, right? Oh no, 636. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so it, it would be it would be one hour ahead for them. Oh no, one hour 30 minutes ahead. Okay, some of them are one hour 30. I see now. So you can uh, you can also change it back if you want, and you can not change it back if you want. And yeah, that's why they put that feature in. It's a really helpful feature because I don't want to be eating my dinner at 3 a.m. in the morning. Like, no. <laughs> oh god, that. So please use this feature if your time is being weird or something. But anyway, that's all I had to cover for this video, and I hope you liked it, and I hope you will comment on this video. I hope you will subscribe, if you would, and possibly a share, possibly, no, not the same, but possibly, possibly. <laughs> but okay, but that is actually going to be the end of this video. I hope you liked it. I hope. And I, ho I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you share, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.